Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Komodo Edit. So to start off, you need to check out the link in the description and head over to the download page. Once you're there, you can find the link for your version of Linux. I'm going to download the 64-bit one and we will let that download. It'll take a couple of seconds. While that's downloading, we can open up a terminal. Make sure you get it to the downloads folder if you haven't already. And that is important because that's where the archive file that we are downloading will go to. So once it's done. All right, so now that it's done downloading, we can go back to our terminal and we can extract the contents of the archive. And then we can open up the folder using the cd command. So we can do cd komodo edit. And now we're in there, we can see all the contents and we can run the installation script that was right here. So dot slash install. Now this is gonna tell us to use a directory. It makes much more sense to just use the default directory. You don't really need to change it around. Uh, usually these programs know what's best for you, like where they wanna put their files. So just press enter and it's going to install and it's gonna tell us all of this stuff. Like it's saying you may want to add Komodo to your path, which it tells you how to do if you would prefer to do that. And to run Komodo Edit, it makes a shortcut on your desktop here, but it's also in your app menu. And you can run that like so, and it should open up. And then you get Komodo Edit. <clears throat> now, I did mention that you need a account, and the reason that is is because Komodo Edit uh, you don't need it to use the program, but you need it if you want to purchase like the full version of this app. This is like a a limited version as far as I understand. Also, it's probably best to have an account on the website anyways because then you can report issues or learn about new features. So, But that is how you get Komodo Edit working on Linux. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>